Yesterday afternoon, this country was reminded of the heightened and dynamic threat environment that the United States Secret Service and its protectees face on a daily basis. Immediately following the assassination attempt of former President Donald J. Trump on July 13th, the Secret Service moved to increase assets to an already enhanced security posture for the former president. At approximately 1.30 p.m., former President Trump was playing golf during an off-the-record movement to the Trump International Golf Course. A Secret Service advance agent supporting the front edge of the agency's layered approach to protection encountered an individual attempting to secrete himself in the wood line. This happened, the alleged gunman was on the public side of the fence near the sixth green. A layered approach of security is integral to the Secret Service's protective methodologies, and it's also the key to our success. As former President Trump was moving through the fifth fairway across the course and out of sight of the sixth green, the agent, who was visually sweeping the area of the sixth screen, saw the subject armed with what he perceived to be a rifle and immediately discharged his firearm. The subject, who did not have line of sight to the former president, fled the scene. He did not fire or get off any shots at our agent. With reports of gunfire, the former president's close protection detail immediately evacuated the president to a safe location. So at this time... I uh, it was an off-the-record movement, meaning it was not on the on the former president's official schedule. Uh, and what I go back to is the layered approach, uh, the the elements uh, and the methodologies of the Secret Service. Uh, you know, there was a front element; uh, it did its job in sweeping ahead of the president. That's what identified this individual who was in that wood line, and the swift action of that agent doing his job, pushing out ahead, sweeping uh, while the president was behind him several hundred yards and several holes away, out of sight from the gunman, did his job. And that was what uh, alerted the detail, and the swift action is what triggered that. <laughs> Have you briefed former President Trump on your findings so far, and has his campaign asked for any changes in his security going forward after yesterday? I, I've had a conversation with the former president. Um, uh, you know, we've explained and we've worked with the campaign. Uh, the president is aware that he has highest levels of protection that the Secret Service is providing him. We constantly evaluate based on threat. And yesterday what we show is that our agents and our protective methodologies, and there's a lot of tactical assets in place, things that have been put in place as a result of what happened 60 days ago, those elements are working, and that demonstrates the redundancies that we have. Uh, what we did yesterday was exercise our emergency plan based on the number of tactical assets and the highest level of protection that we are providing.